As we move into the fall sports season, millions of young people will hit the court, the rink, and the field. There are great health and social benefits to participating in organized sports, but every year about 100 young athletes die as a result of a previously undiagnosed heart condition. There are many causes of sudden cardiac death among seemingly healthy young athletes. There's no one single cause, and there's no one single way of identifying uh, those patients who are at risk. Um, uh, and that's what makes it such a great challenge. So which young athlete should be pre-screened for a heart condition? And what should that screening involve? The recommendations from the American Heart Association regarding sports screenings is that it really should be a tiered process and that advanced testing should be performed if there are abnormalities on the initial screen. In the first level of screening, the potential student athlete uh, will be asked a series of questions about their family history. Uh, and uh, really it's quite important to take a very detailed family history. Uh, many of the causes of sudden death uh, that occur in young athletes are inherited from one generation to the next. The second phase of the initial screening process is a personal history. Have they ever had chest pain? Have they ever had any symptoms with exercise? Are there any concerning things regarding a history of a heart murmur? Any other things in their history that would raise a concern for a possible heart problem? And then the third phase is the physical examination itself, which includes a blood pressure measurement and listening to the heart sounds to listen for a heart murmur. One of the important things to remember when we were talking about uh, sports screening physicals is that they're not meant to take the place of the visit to the primary care physician. Those programs are meant to complement what happens at the primary care physician. 